What's up? I'm Ricky. And I'm Chris. And we are Motionless and White. Nice. So you guys just were at Epicenter. It's pretty exciting to be here. First thing I have to ask you, I have to take this question very seriously. I'm jealous of the fact that you're staying intact. I've been here for like an hour and I look like a hooker that's been here for an hour. Setting spray. Setting spray. Setting spray. It will solve your problems. Thank you. I, I, I think you're being a little nice about it. It does get melty, but thank you. Yes. What should we expect, Rick? Uh, we should expect some top tier musicianship, some uh, some motionless and white to the nth degree, the all the way up. The riffs are crunchier. The choruses are, are sorrier. Uh, no, I think that people can expect what... I mean, if they know the band, I feel like they can expect the unexpected. I feel like that's that's pretty uh, common for us. Okay. Um, we have influences that range all over the place, so we're going to draw from uh, all those inspirations over the course of the whole album. Um, I think it's heavier. I think the choruses are catchier. Um... So the riffs are crunchier and the choruses are sorrier. Well, I mean, we exactly. covered that, so we're good. <laughs> I know we've been on the new single for a little over a week now, and it's getting great response from all of us. Awesome. That's good to hear. We, we're, I'll, I'll take, I feel weird, you, you're just holding us for me. Uh, we were kind of worried if the, if the song would go over well uh, by our fans and anyone kind of new to the band and it, tur- it turns out that everyone seems to be supporting it equally so it's really awesome to see that yeah I'm, I love being proved wrong by our fans it's great keep proving us wrong now's the fun part I know you guys get asked the same questions 172 times every time you sit down in one of these stupid tents I want you to interview each other ask the one question that you wish you would be asked and then vice versa <laughs> this is really this is tough. What's the one thing I've always wanted to ask you? Wow. Or the one thing you want people to know that you want to expose. You know what? I'm going to give you an opportunity to clear up something that maybe is a misconception. What on the street is that you hate pizza? Is that correct? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, the correct response to that is I like Northeastern Pennsylvania pizza and. Uh, I don't hate pizza altogether. It's, I'm just very specific with my taste. And everyone is always like, well, have you had uh, Chicago pizza? Have you had New York pizza? Yes, I've had everywhere pizza. Everywhere I, pizza. I prefer pizza in our hometown 100% of the time. I will give him that, that the pizza in, in Scranton, Pennsylvania area is far better than everywhere else in the world. And I even have had Chicago pizza, which I thought was great, but our area is great. We're talking about pizza here. For like a while, this is a really lengthy conversation about pizza. Yeah, sure is. Oh boy, putting me on the spot here. Um, if it helps, all Godsmack just said so. What pets do you have? So I mean, <laughs> as long as you can beat the what pets do you have question, you're better than Godsmack. <laughs> I, uh, I would say. I guess I think people would find your answer interest or interesting to this is what what kind of misconceptions do people have about bands that you feel like they should know about? About our band? Just in uh, it could be our band, it could be just the music industry in general. That they book their own tours themselves, which you know, thankfully for us, we handpick everywhere that we don't want to go. We're just like. Hmm, where can we go on this tour? Well, let's make sure we don't go here and don't go there just to make sure that these people are angry at us. We love doing that. It's our favorite thing. There's nothing better than I love than sitting down with a piece of paper and saying, we're not going there. We're not going here. Fuck you. You're out. Yeah. No, that's, that's complete. Yeah. I, I feel like people don't detect sarcasm, so I have to disclaimer that. Yeah. N- a disclaimer, that's not what we do. We don't book our own tours. So shut up. <laughs> 
dangly part of Maryland in mind because we love it. Okay, I will do that. Cool. Thank you guys so much for your time today. Let's get you out of here because it's like sweltering. It is a sauna, yes. I am wearing a jacket though, like a jackass. Yeah. Yes. If you don't mind, I just want to do a quick picture if you're cool with that.